go outside. I guess I'm I'm hitting the end of my time here, so I probably should jump back to the presentation and finish up. I wanted to uh, make sure that we got a couple of parting comments in. So. There's some team center learnings here. If you're into doing the team center part of this, or if you want to do an integration like this to team center, there's some pros and cons and some uh, watchwords here. The key is this service-oriented architecture API is very complete but very complex. So uh, it, it'll take some time, but you can probably do almost anything you need to do with it. Uh, there is some good sample code available. Take advantage of that. And we need, as a PLM users community on the Team Center side, we need to work on trying to establish some good example code sets in a similar way to the way uh, the Eclipse Leo project is doing for OSLC. And as far as that goes, uh, the, the jazz.net community uh, also provides that same thing. Uh, OSLC needs some PLM concepts. We know that version revision handling need to be dealt with correctly, and we need to do some things there. Uh, the new configuration management work group is for that exact purpose. Variance options and effectivity are another concepts that are um, coming from the PLM world, they uh, are things that you might also have heard in the ALM world by the name of, of um, product line engineering, but they are essentially the same thing. So those concepts on the PLM side need to be properly reflected in ALM. Um, the code, the, as I mentioned, the Rio code was extremely helpful to get us going on this. We built off of that, and we would then uh, certainly nowhere near the progress we've made without that starting point. And uh, we think that OSLC as an integration concept makes a lot of sense, especially across repositories like this, because it loosely couples and really provide you the ability to navigate and find the information you're interested in that's related to the problem at hand, rather than requiring synchronization of multiple repositories or multiple different copies of the same or parts of the same information so that you can see it in different tools. Very important point here. And the, the key to making all this work is the implementation on the user interface side of the notion of um, delegated user interface. That, that's pretty important. And that you, people have to understand that if you're going to do an implementation. Um, we're planning some further work here. We're going to demonstrate, continue to demonstrate more of the progress and concepts that we come up with in the configuration management uh, work group and the PLM work group. Uh, we want to port to the latest Eclipse Leo SDK and potentially uh, contribute some or all of this code to the, the Eclipse Leo project. Uh, add this UI support for link creation so that we can actually Ma uh, manually within that connector start creating some of those links. As it stands now, the link creation does work, but it only works if you manually edit the RDF, add the link information into the RDF and hit the save button. It will create the link correctly and it, it will be persisted at Team Center correctly. Um, authorization, security, uh, security services, single sign-on, hasn't been addressed, but we know that those are technologies that are well supported on both sides. Uh, looking into the web application server integration approach uh, from our standpoint, just as a uh, how might you do it 
and how might we expect Siemens to come back with a solution that uh, does implement this, uh, the understanding of, of the various places in the architecture, in the team center architecture, where it might be approached. Uh, the Sparkle query support, as I mentioned, is not there, and it's not an out-of-the-box capability of Team Center, so it's something that uh, any implementation would have to address one way or the other. Um, we'd like to investigate the rich client and web client support in Team Center itself, maybe some client-side integration, things that we could attempt to do demonstrate some specialized UIs. One of the things that, at least in, in Team Center land, we, we've recognized is there's a need for many different user interface views into your data, and OSLC provides the possibility to do that more simply, and uh, some SysML modeling tool integrations. And uh, just a parting shot here, we need to get users on board with this concept, call for your vendors to support OSLC in these domains at least so that we can make sure to take advantage of the linked data concepts to avoid having to do deep integrations that rely on synchronized replicant data. It's, it's really a much better way to go if we can make this OSLC link data concept take hold. And we've got some credits here that you can read in the uh, presentation when we post. But a lot of good folks were involved. Um, we had a small team that did the programming here, and uh, certainly a very, very big debt of gratitude to the, the Rio Leo implementers that. Uh, participated and helped us along the way to uh, understand this stuff. So that's it.